in this section uh, we will discuss our next topic that is uh, bounce entries in cisco aci so uh, we can see here we have uh, endpoint 1 which is having uh, ip address a and uh, we are assuming that the mac address is b you can see here on the uh, table of leaf 1 uh, we have the entry for ip a and mac address b and it is learning it from uh, ethernet 1/2 now you can also see the uh, table of spine is also updated with this information ip a and mac address b it is uh, behind leaf one or it was reported by leaf one so it will be having the tap address of leaf one right now uh, you can also see here on the table of leaf three it also has the information ip a is behind leaf one its tap address is dot one so everything is working leaf three is communicating with the leaf one it has the information of this endpoint now let's assume that this particular endpoint this ipa and mac address b it moves to leaf two okay so when it moves to leaf two so now we have IP A and MAC address B. Now it's a part of leaf two. So leaf two is going to update, update is uh, endpoint table, right? With this information. And also it is going to report that now I'm having this information, IP A and MAC address B. It is going to report this information to spine. Once spine receives this particular information, it is going to update its own table. So now IPA and MAC address B previously it was learning it from leaf one. Now it is going to remove this entry and now it will update it is like this. So this entry is now behind leaf two, right? Also, it is going to send one bounce entry or the information of this new entry to the old leaf. Old leaf was leaf one, which was holding this particular endpoint, right? So as soon as leaf one receives this particular information, it is going to remove the entry from its own uh, table. And now it is going to create a bounce entry mentioning that now this particular information is behind leaf two, right? And how exactly it works is that now let's say leaf three wants to communicate again with this particular endpoint right which is having ipa and macb because in the table of leaf three the entry of ipa is behind leaf one so it is going to send the particular traffic to leaf one but leaf one is already prepared for this uh, type of situation so it already has the bounce entry for this particular endpoint right if you see the uh, routing table for that particular vrf so in that against that entry if you see like this with the alphabet p it means that it is the bounce entry so now because of the bounce entry uh, leaf one is having it is going to bounce this particular traffic to leaf two now leaf two is going to receive this particular information which is having the leaf three information now it is going to update its own table with the information of leaf three and now it is going to when it is going to respond to leaf three now leaf three will receive the communication of IPA from leaf two. So now it is going to update its endpoint table 
it is going to delete the entry of leaf one and now it will put leaf two tap address instead of leaf one against the ip a entry so this is how the movement of endpoint is managed within cisco aci <clears throat> now you may also think that let me clean it a bit you may also think that let's say we have uh, some other leaf switch here let's say it's a new leaf switch maybe and it is also connected to spine and leaf so let's say this leaf does not uh, communicate to this particular ipa for this mac address so far so the timer of bounce entry is 630 second so let's assume that this the leaf 4 or the endpoint which is behind leaf 4 it does not communicate within this uh, 630 second so that is why it's update its table is not updated right so it can send it can still send the traffic to leaf one right instead of leaf two because it does it uh, did not uh, communicate within this 630 second which, which is the retention timer for bounce entry so after 630 second leaf one is going to remove this bounce entry so now communication from leaf four will still be following this uh, leaf one path right so it is going to send the traffic to leaf one but this particular situation so in in this situation you can see that the traffic can be black hole for leaf four right so this particular uh, situation will be handled by the timers as we know that for the remote endpoint so for leaf four ip a and mac b these are the remote endpoints right these are remote endpoints and the timer for remote endpoints is around 300 second so if leaf 4 or the endpoint behind leaf 4 uh, does not communicate within 300 second with this particular endpoint ip a and mac address b then its entry is already going to be removed from the table so that is why this situation will not occur so this is how the bounce entry uh, works into cisco aci one more thing uh, you need to remember that let's say uh, only ip a moved behind leaf 2 not this mac address or let's say only this mac address moved behind leaf 2 okay so this mac b is moved but not this ip address a so in that situation leaf 2 is going to report about mac address b to spine right so and spine is going to uh, send the bounce uh, report to leaf 1 so in that situation leaf 1 is going to create the bounce entry only for the mac not for the ip for the ip it is going to create a new entry and it is going to point the next stop for this particular uh, ip address ipa towards the spine proxy address this was all about bounce entries so see you in the next section thanks for watching